Red black trees are a complicated topic, so I'll use several videos to cover them. In this video, we'll learn about rotations, an important operation when inserting and deleting items from a red black tree. In case you missed my first video, here is a review of red black tree properties. And here is a red black tree. If you want further discussion on these two slides, please see my previous video. Let's talk about what you can do with red black trees. There are three main operations, search, insert, and remove. Inserting and removing items change the structure of the tree and may result in a violation of the red black tree properties we outlined before. To fix this, we'll use rotations. Rotations alter the structure of a tree by rearranging subtrees with the intent of decreasing the height of the tree. Remember that we said red black trees have a maximum height on the order of log n. We can decrease the height by moving larger subtrees up the tree and smaller subtrees down the tree. Rotations do not affect the order of elements. Smaller elements will still be to the left and larger elements to the right. There are two types of rotations, left and right. Let's first take a look at a left rotation using the following tree. For now, we won't color the nodes red or black. Instead, we'll color them so it makes the rotation easier to see. We're going to left rotate on node 5, the blue node. 5's right child, 10, the yellow node, becomes his parent. 10's left child, 8, the red node, becomes 5's new right child. Here's the tree after the rotation is complete. Now let's walk through a right rotation. We're going to rotate on the yellow node, 10. This time, 10's left child, 5, becomes 10's parent. Five's right child, 8, becomes 10's new left child. Notice the properties of a binary search tree are still preserved. That is, smaller nodes are to the left and larger nodes are to the right. Here's some pseudocode for a left rotation. Finally, rotations have a time complexity of big O of 1. If you think about it, we're simply changing a few pointers in our tree. And that's it for this video. Rotations are pretty straightforward, but I think it's important to understand how they work before we dive into an insertion example. Watch out for the next video, where we'll do exactly that. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and post suggestions for future videos below.